all right boys and girls welcome back and in this video we're gonna see how we can actually fix the stuff we have been doing here in the on pan responder move so by now you would have realized that we need to make use of the delta x and delta y well you can use x naught and y naught as well it's up to you but i'm just gonna make use of delta x and delta y to set the value to the pan right and i'm gonna make use of this right here instead of get layout we're going to make use of transforms right so let's just go ahead and do that what i'm going to do first of all is i'm going to comment this out and i'm going to say that i want pan dot x dot set value and by the way this is how you actually set a value of an animate animated um, object uh, using set value functions manually so what i want to do is I want to set the x value of this thing to be um, let's just ignore the event and I'm gonna get the gesture right here I'm gonna say gesture dot dx right so the x coordinate inside these two particular values are nothing but the gesture um, just the uh, the dx value of this particular gesture right Similarly, I can do this for y as well, and for y, I want the dy value, right? So once we have that in place, we're gonna see that in the get layout, if I try to move this, it works fine, but we just saw that in the get layout, it's actually, it's actually making use of the left and the top values, right? All right, so there, that's one way to go. Another way to go about this is that you can actually go ahead and get rid of this at all and you can write in the transform here yourself or obviously i'm just going to show you all the options i'm going to say pan dot x here and left as pan dot y this is same as what was happening with that and i believe not really because we have the mirror values here <laughs> yeah because this should be pan dot y and pan dot x right and now it is same or what you can do is you can write transform transform and then you can say translate x as pan dot x translate translate y as pan dot y and you should be good to go and i guess we have some problems here so let me just go ahead and make use of pan dot get translate transform instead of this you know writing it ourselves and let's see what did i do wrong pan dot there we are all right so let's just go ahead and try to move it now it works fine okay um let's try it again i think i cleared the console or something so here we are now if i go ahead and take a look at we see that we have some translate x and translate y value um okay i think i think what we did wrong was translate x should be pan dot x and translate y should be pan dot y right yep that's it so we do not really have to specify them both in the same property and there we are right so it works in a similar way because this is all relative difference so there's a there's a very important role which this line is playing right here so if i comment this out what you're going to see is some buggy behavior so if i slide it down here it works fine but see what happens if i start start sliding out on the edge so you see you see that jump the circle makes so it's it's buggy and we're going to get into the reason why this line plays an important role in probably in the next video so yeah that's pretty much it for this one. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.